Hey, Socially Nina here. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Microsoft has finally released Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams gives us the chance to have a workspace of, it's kind of like a combination of Office 365 groups, Yammer, Skype, and all the documents you want all in one place, or as other people are calling it, the Slack killer. So I love Microsoft. I love what they're doing. I'm going to take you through simply how to enable Microsoft Teams for your company. After I get mine all set up, I'll come back and do a tutorial on how do you how you use each feature. So before you get started, you are going to need to make sure that you turn on or enable Microsoft Teams. I've logged on to my Office 365 by going to microsoftonline.com and signing in with my credentials. Notice all my apps are here and I do not see Teams. I do see the new bookings feature, which I do have a video on that and I'll link that below. But what we wanna look at is Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that on. You do have to be an admin. I'm gonna go to the admin console and this is considered an add-in. So I'm gonna go down to the settings and I'm going to go to services and add-ins. Notice all your add-ins are here. And what we like here is Microsoft Teams. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And it gives you a couple of features here. I am going to turn all features on by default. So we can go ahead and take a first look at the application. As I use it more and get more into it, we'll look at, and I'm gonna enable bots. Um, I'll look at some of these features and decide which ones are we should leave on and um, exactly which ones are useful, okay? Um, I'm gonna save. And you'll notice that it's not instantly available. So I am going to give it some time to propagate and um, we'll come back once it shows up on my list of online applications. So excited about this. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, show me some love. Give me a like, go ahead and share it, or most importantly, subscribe so you can get my next videos that come out. Make sure that you leave comments below that actually tell me what you think of the video, if you have questions, if anything was missing, oopsie, or if you just have your own questions. Again, leave them below, like, and subscribe.